Even bought her flowers. Who says romance is dead? I do. Every Saturday night. A little lipstick wouldn't hurt. I'm just saying. So what do you give her besides roses? Two shots to the chest. Small caliber. You got a COD? Not into the full exam, but this wasn't a stabbing. Lack of blood around the wound suggests she was dead before. It was inserted no foam around the mouth, so we know she didn't drown. Oh, you're good. Yeah, yeah. She was killed first and then posed. Just... Hey. Damn, girl, you scared me. Laney, you're surrounded by corpses. Yeah, I don't expect the living after 7 o'clock. Bunny, neither do I. I'm an M.E. What's your excuse? Oh, don't be mean. You deserve it. Getting a drink with me after work instead of getting your freak on with Ryder Boy? Yeah, well, he is annoying. Self-centered, egotistical, and completely... Fun. And take it from me, girlfriend, you need some fun. I mean, how bad can he be? Beckett. No, no, uh-uh. That one goes to the thrift store. Ugh. Whoa, karma chameleon. <laughs> the girl at Saks said fluorescent is in. Well, then she was on commission. Uh-uh. Two showgirls? <sighs> you know what he's trying to do? He wants to humiliate me. Lena, can you get that, please? All right. But you better not be wearing your prom dress when I get back. Who was it? Delivery. From who? Let's find out. Bippity boppity boo. Cinderella. It's from him. Oh, please, it's a dress. Now open it up, girlfriend. Oh, I knew he was arrogant, but this, this is complete. Oh. Apparently, Castle has a history with the bride. Ancient, modern, or sexual? Seems like all of the above. You okay with that? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Just keep me posted on the labs. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You tell me. What? Don't what me. Castle's lost love. Yeah, what about it? Girl, I'm gonna smack you. You work side by side every day. He writes a sex scene in his book about you that had me reaching for ice water. Now Little Miss Bride shows up. Don't tell me you're not the least bit jealous. Oh, please. You've been inhaling too many autopsy fluids. Honey, just because you can't see what's going on doesn't mean everyone else doesn't see what's going on. Shut up. Mm-hmm. I see it. From the smell of it, I'd say it's caramel sauce, but I'll be testing, not tasting. Caramel sauce? Maybe our killer has a sweet tooth. Given her state of undress, I'd say it's more likely he had a sexual fetish. Yeah, I can do the chocolate, I'll even do the whipped cream bikini, but caramel? I prefer a slipper to sticky. Does she know we can hear her? <laughs> I gotta go. Me too. Hmm. I'll see if the scene's sexy. Okay. Javier Esposito, when we get to this crime scene, do not wink at me, do not smile at me, and don't even look at me with those puppy dog eyes. Got it? Got it. Satisfied, Castle? More like disappointed. Well, maybe this would cheer you up. Old man here. White rabbit fur. Came from his teeth and throat. So he was killed by a rabbit who did not want to be pulled out of a hat. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. In the process of trying to determine how Zalman was asphyxiated, I also discovered the presence of a low dose of organophosphates in his nose and throat. Organophosphates? It's found in hydraulic fluids, jet engine oil, insecticides, nerve agents. Nerve agents? Well, along with the C4, our magician sounding more like a terrorist. The amount is too small to indicate that he had been working with them directly, but he definitely was exposed to them recently. Oye, chica, I was in the hood and I thought that we should talk about the- Tess! that you had me run. Um, they're in the back, I'll go get them. Yeah, thanks. What tests? Different case. You have an address? 
Thanks. Mm -hmm. Nice work. That was close. No, this is close. Mm -hmm. Lately, Kate, it's been weird for four years. No, this is different. He's different. It's like he's pulling away. Well, can you blame him? He's probably tired of waiting. Waiting for what? What do you think? The guy is crazy about you. And despite your little act, you're crazy about him. Oh, what? Was that supposed to be some big secret? Yes. No. Do you think he knows? Victim's blood panels came back. Let me guess. Trucks. Nope. This was one clean living rock star. In fact, it's not what he put in his body, it's what he didn't. James had no antibodies for polio. He never had the polio vaccine. Or everyone born since the early 1960s got that vaccine. That's what I thought. He also had no antibodies for tetanus, measles, whooping cough, all standard immunizations. What else? Isn't that enough? Blaney, usually if you have something like this for me, just call me over the phone. Well, I thought it was worth the trip. Hey, heard you two were making pancakes when the body dropped. Nothing happened. Right. So what do you got? Letters on the slugs. B, U, R. Burn. Nikki will burn. Well, that's chilling. Our victim's fingerprints aren't in the system. Do you have anything that can ID her? Well, I found formaldehyde on her. Yeah, that's from the killer. He left it at the other scenes as well. Not traces. It was under her fingernails and her hair. She worked with embalming fluid. I also found traces of clay, polyurethane, and animal blood. I don't know who she is, but I can tell you what she does. She's, She's a, a taxidermist. taxidermist. So cute the way you two do that. Beckett's boyfriend, don't you two have something better to do? Actually, no. I figure Beckett must have started up with the guy during her suspension. Pretty emotional time for her, bet she needed a shoulder to lean on. An ex. It would explain why she's too embarrassed to tell us who it is. It makes her look weak. We're thinking the most likely scenario is that it was the last guy that she was with. Dr. Joshua Davidson. It's him, isn't it? Okay, I get that you don't have a life hobby, but you're married, Kevin, so what's your excuse? I... Whoever Beckett's boyfriend is is none of your business. Come on, Laney. You must know who it is. She went back to Josh, didn't she? Is this how you interrogate people? Because you ain't doing nothing but pissing me off. Now, I don't know who it is, and I respect Beckett's privacy, but I do know it's not Josh, because he's been in the Amazon setting up free clinics for the last year. Are you sure about that? I think she's sure. Hey, Castle. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone so you can weigh in on this. Weigh in on what? Well, we're in the morgue with Lainey trying to figure out who Beckett's boyfriend is. I have nothing to do with this nonsense. All right. Talk to me, girlfriend. Tell me what's on your mind. Do you find it odd that Alexis has gone to everyone but me on this case? She hasn't gone to Perlmutter yet. Yeah, well, no one does if they can help it. Well, you can't take it personally. No, I know, it's just... Castle and I are about to become a family, which is weird enough as it is, and he and Alexis have this whole history that has nothing to do with me, and it kind of feels like when it comes to the two of them, I'm always gonna be on the outside. Perfect families don't exist. It's gonna be up to you to find a way to make your baggage match their baggage. It's up to you to make your own history. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing? Something different? No. Why? I don't know. Something's changed. Sir, so how'd she die? Single GSW. The shot was called in by neighbors last night at 10:28 p.m. Which fits lividity. There's also signs of a struggle. Vic has bruises on her upper arm, and her blouse was ripped. It wasn't a mugging. How can you tell? Blood spatter on her blouse indicates the shirt was ripped after the gunshot. And what about the bruising? Post-mortem. To make it look like a mugging. Someone's trying to cover their tracks. Speaking of which, I figured out what's different. You're having sex. Excuse me? Oh, don't try to deny it. There's a glow. I know that glow. So, who's the guy? 
Yeah, Beckett, who's the guy? Nobody that you would know, okay? Are you sure? I know a lot of guys. I'm sure. But tonight, it'll be for romantic reasons. Yeah. Hey, Espo, your date's here. I knew they had plans. You knew they had plans and you didn't tell me? Yeah, because she asked me to keep it a secret. This is a really big deal for them. She doesn't want you making fun of her. I wouldn't make fun. No, that's <laughs> fish in a barrel. Oh. Lainey, you look great. Yeah? It's not too much? No, it might be a little too much for Castle. Eyes up, bud. I do. You look amazing, Lainey. Thanks, Javi. Mm -hmm. So, what's the plan? Our reservation's at Le Fourneau. Oh. French? I love French. Je le sais, mon petit chouchou. Oh! Hello. Au revoir. Au revoir. 